Hello, welcome students. I am Mr. Sandeep here, and in today's session of manufacturing technology, we are going to discuss on different types of patent in the foundry technology chapter. So, as per our GTU syllabus, chapter number two is the foundry technology, and in the earlier session, we have discussed the brief introduction on foundry technology. So in today's session, we are going to discuss on different types of pattern in this session. So here, as per our earlier session discussion on foundry technology, so foundry technology is also known as casting processes. So foundry technology is nothing but casting process. And in today's session, we are going to discuss on different types of pattern. So before starting today's session, let me give you a brief introduction about the casting process. So in the casting process, as shown here, your purpose is to make the cavity first. Then you have to make ready your liquid metal. And after that, you can pour that liquid metal in your cavity, right? So this is all about the casting process. Your first task is to make ready the liquid metal. After that, you can make the cavity with help of pattern and with help of the pattern, you can remove your pattern and in the made cavity, you can pour your liquid metal as shown here. So this is all about the casting process. So what is the pattern? Our today's session purpose is to discuss different types of pattern. So what do you mean by pattern? Pattern is nothing but replica or image of the product to be produced. So if you want to make a simple cube, then your pattern will exactly looks like a cube, right? So pattern is nothing but it is a replica or image of the product to be produced, right? So anything you want to make, your pattern will exactly looks like your product, but it can be made of any material, right? So let us start discussion on different types of pattern. So here I mentioned the simple pattern that is solid or single piece pattern. So what is single piece or solid pattern? It is nothing but it is the pattern which is made of any single piece. So anything, if you want to make any shape, you can make the whole shape and that is known as nothing but single piece or solid pattern. So for example, if you want to make one small cube, you can go for pattern that is known as a solid piece or say single piece or solid pattern as shown here, right? So solid pattern is nothing but it is a pattern made of a single piece, right? So after solid pattern, here I mentioned the split pattern. So what do you mean by split pattern? As per the name, split pattern is nothing but it is made of two parts. So as shown here in this video, the split pattern is nothing but pattern made of two parts or two halves, right? So any component that is made of two parts, it is known as a split pattern. So here with help of dowel pins, you can match the two parts or two halves of the pattern. It is known as a split pattern, right? So here I mentioned the important points regarding the split pattern. So any component, if you can divide that component into two parts so that your pattern will be made in the two parts, it is known as a split pattern. Right? So here I mention the image or look of the split pattern. So it is made of two simple parts. Right? So after split pattern, here I mention the multi-piece pattern. So what do you mean by multi-piece pattern? Multi-piece pattern is nothing but a pattern that is made of more than two parts. So if you can go for multiple parts of the pattern, it is known as a multi-piece pattern. So here I mention the view 
of the multi piece pattern as shown here multi piece pattern here for our case it is made of three parts so it is known as a multi piece pattern so multi piece pattern is nothing but a pattern made of more than two parts three four or more than than parts right so here in this case multi piece pattern is shown here right so after multi piece pattern here i mentioned the cop and drag pattern so what do you mean by cop and drag pattern cop and drag pattern is nothing but it is a pattern which is having a two parts upper part is known as a cop and lower part is known as a drag so in any casting process the upper part of the casting is known as a cop part lower part of the casting is known as a drag part right so cop and drag parts are mentioned in any casting and it is known as cop and drag pattern right so cop and drag pattern is a simple pattern which is made of two parts upper and lower part right so after cop and drag pattern here i mention the gated patterns so here i mention the important points regarding the gated pattern so what do you mean by gated pattern and what is the main purpose of gated pattern so as per our general concept of casting our purpose is to make any product but if your purpose is to make for example spherical balls but eight spherical balls at a single time so you can go for gated pattern so once again i repeat if your purpose is to make multiple jobs or products at a time it can be done with help of gated pattern right so here i mention the simple image of the gated pattern so here your purpose is to make eight spherical balls or eight spherical products at a single time of casting you can go for gated pattern so what is included in this pattern you can pour your liquid metal in this pattern after pouring your liquid metal your liquid metal will flow through the runner and through the runner it will flow in the gates right so through the gates all the eight cavities will be filled and after cooling and solidification and after cutting the excess parts your eight spherical objects will be ready so this is the simple concept of gated pattern in which you can make multiple objects in single casting right so after gated pattern here i mention the view and concept for skeleton pattern so what is skeleton pattern as per the name the skeleton pattern is the simple construction in which your purpose is to make the cavity without solid construction so here i mention the view for the skeleton pattern right so what happens in skeleton pattern here i mention in this video and you can see from this video your pattern is made of frame construction or your pattern is made of rib construction so if you want to make the semi cylindrical cavity here i mention the pattern for the same and that is known as a skeleton pattern so if you want to make semi cylindrical cavity or semi cylindrical object your pattern is made of frame only or say line only or say wooden framing only so solid pattern will not required for making of this type of job only a frame construction or rib construction or say skeleton pattern is required so what is the main point or main purpose of skeleton pattern in the skeleton pattern your material of pattern will be saved because you will not require a solid semi cylindrical pattern only a framing construction is there and with help of this frame you can make your cavity right so this is the main point regarding the skeleton pattern here i mentioned the view for semi cylindrical cavity or say skeleton pattern for that particular cavity make right so i mentioned the figure for the skeleton 
pattern. So after skeleton pattern, here I mentioned the sweep pattern. So as per the name, by revolving the simple small part around the hinge point, you can make the whole symmetrical cavity and it is known as a sweep pattern, right? So what is sweep pattern? If you want to make one symmetrical cavity, you can revolve one small part around the hinge point as shown in this video and your final cavity will be ready, right? So you will not require the whole solid pattern, just by revolution you can make the cavity. It is known as a sweep pattern. So here I mentioned the main important points regarding the sweep pattern and image for the sweep pattern also. So after sweep pattern, here I mentioned the match plate pattern. So as per the name, here I mentioned in this video, what is the concept for a match plate pattern? As per the name, one plate is there, it is known as a match plate and around the match plate, the pattern parts can be placed and can be matched and with help of this construction, you can make the whole cavity, right? So here also, your pattern will be split into two parts, but these two parts can be placed on the upper and lower part of the match plate, right? So it is nothing but match plate pattern with help of plate, known as a match plate, you can make the whole cavity into two parts that is upper and lower half, right? So this is all about the match plate pattern. Here I mentioned the important point regarding the match plate pattern and image for the match plate pattern. So it is nothing but pattern that can be made into two parts. So after match plate pattern, here I mentioned the different points that is important for the loose piece pattern. So there are many types of pattern, but here I mentioned the main generally used pattern types. Here I mentioned the loose piece pattern. So what is the concept for loose piece pattern? So sometimes what happens if you remove your pattern, your sand mold or say cavity will be damaged. So this is not desirable. So what happens? What is the solution for that? you can go for the loose piece pattern. So let me give you one simple example. If your pattern is having a shape like C, so if your pattern is like a C shape, if you remove or withdraw that pattern, there will be a chances of sand damage or your cavity damage. So what happens at that time, you can make your pattern in the loose pieces. So here I mentioned the simple view for the loose piece pattern. So for explanation, here I mentioned a simple pattern that is made of loose pieces. So whole pattern is nothing but A plus B. So if you can remove the A first, then after that you can remove the part B that is the loose piece pattern parts. So what happens if you take the whole pattern and if you try to remove that whole pattern, there will be a chances of sand mold or cavity damage due to the C shape or say intricate complex shape parts in the pattern. So for that type of construction, if you make your pattern into loose pieces, what happens? You can remove the first part without any damage and then you can remove the another loose pieces pattern parts. So here A is the pattern you can easily remove without damage and B is nothing but a loose pieces part you can remove after removing the pattern A, right? So it is all about the loose piece pattern. So after loose piece pattern, here I mentioned the segmental pattern video. You can easily understand with help of this video. If you can or if you want to make a one wheel rim or wheel shape, you can make one angular segment first. You can make the cavity with help of this segment. Then you can gradually process further and rotate your segment. Then you can again make the cavity in the neighborhood or in the just the nearby part and so on with help of the revolution of your segment. 
you can create the gradual cavities and with help of this all cavities your final will dream cavity is ready and with help of this cavity you can make your whole will dream after pouring the liquid matter right so as per the name segmental pattern your whole cavity can be made with help of gradual revolution of your angular segment or small pattern so whole solid pattern will not be required it is known as a segmental pattern right so pattern material will be saved in case of segmental pattern after that pattern here i mention the follow board pattern so what is the concept of follow board pattern so if your pattern thickness or say if your pattern section thickness is very less at that time what happens if you apply the sand force or say sand ramming force there will be a chances of bending or damage to the pattern so at that time what you can choose or what is the solution you can provide the support to that particular thin pattern shape right so this type of pattern is nothing but follow board pattern so here i mention in this image if your pattern is very thin or say it is having a small or say thin sheet metal or say thickness you have to provide the support at the lower part and it is known as a follow board pattern so follow board is nothing but support to your thin pattern so that after applying the sand ramming force your pattern will not be damaged right so this is all about different types of patterns so all you have to do is take the pattern and then with help of this pattern you can create the cavity and after that you can remove your pattern right so here i mentioned the summary for different types of patterns your purpose is same to make the cavity with help of pattern this is all about different types of pattern in today's session thank you all of you